Today we have a special treat for you guys. So not only are we debuting the Alkaline card that I grinded for and we got, but we're also putting in our creative player for today's gameplay. And so the squad's looking interesting. You know, everyone's in the same position. Olsen still at first, Eddie at third, Marte at second, Gary behind the plate, Grandy in center, and Mickey in right. But at shortstop, we got Joe Feliz, who is our creative player, and we have Al Kaline. So we got a decent squad going, so we're going to hop into some ranked seasons for a minute. So we haven't played any new games in the season, so they put us back at 400, unfortunately, even though we made it to Pennant Race. So that's that stinks, but oh well, you know, we just got to keep keep going, and we're just going to hop right in, into another game. So that's what we got going on. What's going on guys, Foles YouTube, and I'm glad to be putting up another video. It's been a couple days, and most YouTubers, you know, I'll see and they'll say, oh, well, you know, I, I've been busy with this and that. Honestly, I have been busy. You know, I literally have just not had the effort or motivation to put up a video. I really just haven't wanted to. I've been lazy, laying in my bed, playing Minecraft for God's sakes. Like, I've just been that bored. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use John Smoltz for this game, give him his opening day debut or actually he's another card that we're going to debut today too i think because we are let's see how we want to do this i think i want to put felice i'm going to put him actually i'm going to keep him where he is right now but everything else is perfect the way it is so all right we're going up against the lc bad news bears this guy has a pretty good squad he's got his creative player leading off and he's got DeGrom on the mat. We haven't faced DeGrom yet, and he's got a lot of the face of the franchises like Gallo, Buxton, and Olsen, which it's scary that Gallo is batting so low. So that's, uh, that is pretty uh, interesting that he's doing that. Also, the lighting, I'm really sorry that I just forgot to turn on the lights when I wanted to film the video. So if it goes dark, I'm sorry. <laughs> And plus, you probably wouldn't want to see this anyway. It's more about the gameplay of what's going on. So speaking of which, let's get going here. So we got Marte leading off. And so unfortunately, we're away, and he has a classic stadium, so this guy clearly knows what he's doing. He starts us off with a fastball. We were early on it, which is good. I mean, DeGrom definitely has some good stuff. And we fouled that one off. Jeez. Look like an idiot going to grab my charging cord off the ground. Fouling that one off, that's good. And so let's see if we can actually get a win today. You know, we, we were down a little bit. We did get a win the last time. We were uh, we were up at a gameplay, but we really need to focus in and get a uh, get a win here. So come on. Beat that out, and hey, we beat it out. That's good. That is good. We're on the we're on the board as far as base is concerned. Fortunately, it was an error, but regardless, we got Mickey up right now. Hasn't been batting too well. Probably should be moving him down. And Mickey drives that one deep. That one is out of here. That's perfect. That's how you start off the ball game. Mickey batting two thirteen in a slump, jumps all over. A fastball third. from the Grom, and Matthews. we're gonna leave that one one and zero oh for Eddie Matthews. So good job by uh, by him to be getting on the board by Mickey. Almost, how do you forget a player like that? I don't understand. I have the memory of an asparagus. And Eddie, does Eddie take this one deep? Yes, he does. Back to back home runs with Mickey Mantle and Eddie Matthews. So we're already up three to nothing. This is good. This guy's a goal too, so it's important we're jumping all over him. All right, we'll let him have that strike. Um, so it, unfortunately we can't see the count because of that stupid home run thing. Ah, just got on top of it and you know, and it'll be the shift. But we're still up three to nothing right now with one down. So we're getting off to a decent start. So now we got Gary Sanchez, and he's going to try to get the splitter by us. We are on it a little bit, just a little early though, unfortunately. So let's see what he tries to do here. 
Ah, it's taking bad hacks at pitches, which is not good at all. And we're going to take a hack at that one. That's not going to be clearing any fences. We just got way under that, but that's all right. You know, Gary, um, Gary's gotten some good hits in his debuts. And that, was, uh, that was one of them. So perfect by him. But now, you know, Grandy Man. Let's see how he's doing. And we're going to take a hack. And again, on a low changeup. Those are the pitches I've been struggling with, unfortunately. But anything high. Nope, that's down. Like, not that one. We left that one go. We let that one go. So, and also, sorry if I made a weird face when I uh, did that. I somehow get into it facially. One ball, two strikes. Down. Right over the top of the curveball. But um, I think we're at one and two right now. Yeah, we're at one and two. And two down. Let's see if he can get out of it. And this is the thing that we need. We need a good performance from Schmoltz. Ball. Okay. Two and two. That's good. That's good. But like I was saying, we need a good um, debut from Schmoltz. And Granishin just gets under that one, unfortunately. So that one, that's going to conclude the top half of the first. But we're already up three to nothing. The error by the shortstop that... Got our leadoff guy on, and then Mickey blasts the two-run homer, and then Eddie absolutely smacks one up in the right field. That's where Ken Griffey Jr. would launch one if he was playing against the Twins. But okay, so we need, again, a good performance by, uh, by Schmaltz. That's just what needs to happen. And actually, before I do any fielding, we're going to go to gameplay, and we're going to go to buttons here because I'm not taking a chance on that happening i'm not going to be taking a chance on you know messing up my throws and then us getting down because we're doing we're doing all right so far but we just need to hold the lead and that curveball is hung but thankfully let's see if he'll lock on yes he will perfect again i'm thinking i'm going to be making a video with a friend of mine who's also a up and coming uh, mlb that youtuber he and are going to discuss some of the things that MLB needs to work on, or more specifically, San Diego Studios. And because there there have been a lot of complaints from the MLB The Show community, Fuzzy is one of them who's made a complaint. All right, Olsen getting over there. That's perfect. But Fuzzy's made some complaints. I've seen it in Kevin God's video, or Kevin G.O.D.'s. Or, my bad. Uh, that this just needs to be fixed, a lot of these issues. Because some people could be winning these games that are huge, but they just yep, haven't gotten lucky with that kind of thing. And so that's something I think San Diego Studios should pay attention to. That was not a good location. That was terrible. That was absolutely just atrocious. All right, one and one. We're going to give him another curveball, and let's see what he thinks. That's ball two. Nope, he's going to let that one go. The count uh, is two and one. The four seam. Let's try to bust it in on him. That's, that's going to be interesting. He's going to drive that to deep center, but I think we're going to get there. Yes, we are. Perfect. Granderson locks on, and we're still up three to nothing. I'm just going to adjust my chair here because well, this chair is kind of uncomfortable. Not really. All right. Al K-Line debut. 113 clutch. This isn't necessarily a clutch moment right now, but we'd like to see something from uh, K-Line here. So let's see. Another curveball we're chasing. That's That's not good. And, oh, I thought we were going to beat it on the right side, but no, nope, the second baseman did a good job getting over there. So, one down, and I believe this is going to be bringing up Schmaltz, who, I don't, again, I don't know why I wanted to put in the eight hole, because he's not, because Jimmy Rollins is not on the team right now. You know, Jimmy needs to earn being on this team. But... Uh, Schmoltz no, is just going to be hitting in the eighth spot. But again, this isn't a big scenario. This isn't a big deal. You know, where if I had runners on right well, now, he's not going to be um, going anywhere. So I'm probably just going to let this pitch go. Just see what happens. See if he tries to fool me with anything. Okay. Pain in the fastball. So now we're just going to have to be a little more patient. You know, I don't expect to get a hit with Schmoltz, but. Full count. Three, oh, two. that was ball four. So let's see. I don't really care if my pitcher strikes out. Ah. Yeah. I let him have that one. Just as my pitcher, you know, he... Batting nine. 
I don't really job. necessarily care. Okay. Joe. So we got Joe Feliz coming up. Joe Happy. And so let's see what's uh, going on with him. So we're going to foul that one off. <sighs> Boy, this... Uh, I never would have had a creative player in the game before. And we're just a little late on that fastball. So we're down 0-2, 2 out. And we're just on it. Outside half. And we were just late. We could have put that in play. And we pop it up, get under that fastball. The timing was good, so you knew we would uh, be going places if we made a good connection. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. But regardless, we're still doing all right. Um, and we just need to be... Uh, getting some good bits going here. So this gameplay is going to be a little longer than I thought it was going to be. But that's that's all right. I don't think the gameplay is going to be 30 minutes long because that's the cap for these kind of games. Uh, you know. And so I really don't think we're going to have to be dealing with that. Hopefully we won't. But we'll see, you know, I'm looking at my camera and, oh, that's not a good pitch. I'm looking at the camera right now as soon as this notification goes away on my phone. We're looking at around 11 minutes, 30 seconds. So, you know, we're still in decent shape, on, uh, I guess. I mean, even though it's the second inning. So I think what I might have to do is uh, re-up the gameplay and maybe stop the camera when the thing goes off. But I'm not sure if I will have to do that. Oof, okay, Gary kind of got into that one, but just in front of the warning track, able to make the out. Good job by K-Line for the first out. Batting, batting. This is the card that the scares me a little bit, Gallo. Joey. Like, this this card's Gallo. a beast. Uh, I don't care if I really want Gallo. He's not exactly the fastest guy out there. And is this going to be his first hit? No. Oh, we held on. Perfect. Attaboy, Grandy. Perfect. Batting, batting. Uh... The third baseman. All right, he's got Javi on the team. You know, Javi strikes out a lot, but if he goes here, I wouldn't. Or if he goes deep, I wouldn't be surprised either. We got to be careful with Javi. You know, that's right down the middle. But he doesn't he doesn't catch up with it. He's too late on it. So let's try to go circle change. And um, we don't really have a. Oh boy, that's that's terrible. Um, I'm gonna go to the curve here and just see what happens here i don't really have pitching strategy i just use what works and that worked He's so up. we get out of another inning unscathed that's perfect um but no i don't really have a pitching strategy i mean a lot of guys i don't think have them to be we quite honest but i'm sure there's some you know tell i don't know science more. to hitting or pitching rather than i'm over the show but i don't know I'm just a blundering idiot that throws the baseball and hopes he doesn't take it to the moon. All right, Marte is going to drive that one, but it's not going to get anywhere, unfortunately. And it said good, good, but I'm very surprised it says that, even though it feels like we did not do good. The right fielder, number seven. All right, who do we have? Mickey. Oh, no, I got Mickey, Man, so yeah. went deep. Went deep last time. Let's see if he can do it again. Ball, that's low. Nope, we're taking that change up for a ball. Let, let's get his pitch count up. He's at 34 already with the third inning, so. Ball, nope, that's not, not going to go for that one either. Just need a decent pitch. Um, no, nope, not doing that one either. He's trying to pitch around me. I, I'm not. He did have a home run, but I'm not going to give him the green light. Uh, actually, maybe I'll give him the green light. Oh, why did I Three swing balls, at that? One strike. Uh, I gotta be ready. Nope, that's a walk. Perfect. He didn't go on the swing, so <sighs> that's that's good. That's good. Now back. All right, Eddie coming up. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear a background noise. I have three fish tanks in my in my room. Nope. But only uh, only one of them is really making that much of a noise because I have an, uh, an air stone in it. Two and out. And then. Um, also, uh, two smaller takes by Aquion, which um, they don't pay me to say this clearly, but Aquion tanks are actually some of the most sufficient tanks I've ever had as a fish owner. Um, they really know what they're doing. Like they haven't, uh, they come in the bundles, so you can get like a 1.6 gallon, I believe, and it comes with the standard stuff. And 
you have to buy like the other extra filters on your own and like the rocks or whatever for the tank but the basic setup's actually pretty nice and they've lasted a long time for me so i would definitely check out aquion if you're interested in having a fish tank or even putting shrimp in them or snails or something um, i haven't had any other pets besides a dog i have a dog but or i've had dogs but um i just you know would definitely recommend aquion but all right two and two on eddie we're going to let that pitch go inside. Next up, we got Olsen, who I thought he went deep, but didn't. And let's see if Eddie... No, no, we're going to get back. We're going to get back. I thought I told him to go back sooner. Uh, fortunately, or fortunately for me that he got back. Now but we got Olsen now, who Matt. needs to come up clutch here. And we are way one, late yeah. on that fastball. We need to be a little bit earlier. Uh, so on one with Olsen. I might steal with Mick. I'm going to steal with Mick. Ah. Nope. Oh, froze. Nope, he's, he's there. there. Perfect. It's one benefit of having Mick. Because he can actually steal you some bases. The changeup was pitched or uh, placed beautifully. Oh, Olsen thought we could have gone deep. Also, sorry for... Uh, Scratching my nose, I don't know why it's itchy. And he's gonna throw DJ back, back, even though I'm not I'm not going with Mick. I'm not going with him. And Olsen drives that one. That's gonna that's gonna go to the wall. Wait, nope, that's out of here. Two run homer with Matt Olsen. The guy just rakes. He just rakes. Five to nothing already. I think this guy's going to... He might quit or he's going to go to the bullpen. I'm not sure. He quit. Perfect. Well, um, it, again, not really much of a debut with this guy or with uh, K-Line. Uh, Schmoltz did a good job out of the uh, bullpen there. Not really the pen, but he did a good job pitching, which was great. Um, and Olsen, again, just continues to prove why I'm glad I picked him up. Um, fortunately, I didn't use Santana, which I love using him. I think he's on my bench. It's been a little bit since I've really touched, you know, ranked seasons, obviously. But uh, other than that, this was a really fun gameplay to do. Get the win. Uh, getting closer back to the, uh, the pennant race. So we're not going to worry about the cards here. Um, I'm going to just quick sell this for some stubs. And we're also going to quick sell now for this card. Um, and more rewards. So we have that. We have the regular season. And we have the All-Star. So we are actually going to go quickly uh, open those up. But actually, before I was going to say that, this is going to be our next little mission here, next video, for the grind for the 85 Bob Gibson card. And this Gibson's actually pretty good. I was just looking at it earlier before I made the video. Uh, and overall, it just looks like a decent card. Uh, he's a breakout. So this was back towards when the Cardinals were heading into the World Series and stuff, and he pitched amazingly there. So not, not a bad card to have another rotation, decent uh, velocity, uh, but we are actually going to open packs now, just briefly, so we're just going to get rid of, or go through this one, so actually we're just going to go through. We got a gold, oh we got Ken Giles, I already own two, so we're going to go sell now for that card. Man, we're going to flip all cards here, nothing crazy, alright, spring training, you know, nothing crazy about this card. Yeah, Sam Freeman. I'm going to keep him because he might be useful to us in the future. Silver, Kyle Schwab, I already own two. So we're going to get some more stubs out of this, which is great. And finally, the All-Star, I believe. So there's a chance for a diamond and... no nope, Hicks. So we're going to again sell him real quick. And I already own these little icons. So that's going to conclude it for this video today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I know it was a little bit of a shorter game just because the guy quit. We did really well. Uh, but if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell to be updated on everything I'm doing as far as YouTube and streams is concerned. Be sure to subscribe if you're new or if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video or stream. Bye, guys.